Okay, I'm gonna make my Mexican beef soup, but I'm adding something a little different than just the basic recipes that you see on the internet. When I was in California in 1981, my friend Art took me to this tavern and they, we ordered this soup, but in the soup, they didn't have just beef, they had pork and chicken along with the beef. So what I got here is I got a, a beef shank here, it's got a bone, so I got that flavor. I got beef stew meat, pork stew meat, I got chicken, I'm going to use cabbage, celery, I've got uh, coconut oil, potato, corn, carrot, onion, rice, bay leaf, salt, pepper, uh, did I say corn? There's the corn. Uh, I'll probably maybe add some other seasoning as I go along, it depends, but Everyone always asks me when I make things, what are my recipes? You know what? I just buy the ingredients and I just add as I go. So, that's what I suggest you do. Add as you go. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to slice the onion and saute that along with the beef bone. Okay, step one, I'm sauteing the beef bone shank. Okay, so I'm going to brown the beef bone shank, then I'm going to add the other uh, beef, pull that out, saute the onions. Put everything back in and put all my other vegetables in. Okay, so this is my version of the Mexican Covido soup, the beef soup that um, has all the different uh, meats in it though. And I'm still, it's still got a while to cook down, but uh, this is how easy it was guys. And you just add everything to your taste. That's all you do. And with all the different flavors of meat and the bone and the chicken, um, you're going to have a really nice flavorful broth. 
Make sure you season with plenty of salt to your tasting, of course, and black pepper. Uh, you can even add cilantro to this at the end, whatever you want. And uh, so I'm just going to let this cook down for another hour and a half or because I want that meat to be like falling off the bone. You can see that big bone here. It, it just, it's not shredding on its own yet. The soup is done when that meat just falls right off that bone. So that's the soup. And I want to get this video posted for you guys so you can see it. So, yeah. And you, you know, as, as with any soup, you just skim the bottom. Or the, I'm sorry, <laughs> you skim the top. And then if you put this in the refrigerator after it cools overnight and you put it in the refrigerator and then there'll be some grease on top and you just scrape the grease off and then you've got a very clear broth. And there it is. That's how easy it was. I know a lot of people always ask me when I cook, recipe please, recipe please. And I, I don't have recipes. I just cook by feel and taste. I look at the ingredients and I throw them in. You know, if you can eat, you know you can cook. All right? Love you guys. Bye. Take care. Try it.